Hello, everybody, and what's going on? Let's get into episode two, season one of To, Lo to Roam for Love. Let's go on and start off with Miss Shay because Miss Shay was all giddy and cheesing and smiling when that man was kissing her all up in her mouth and her teeth and everything and looking at her teeth and lips and mouth and, and everything. But then when she seen everybody's reaction to it, like, Shay, you, you need to slow down, blah, blah, blah. Then she's going to try to pull it back and say, well, I uh didn't really want him to kiss me. And I was like, you know, and then Diane heard him cut off. Said, "You just said you liked it." Boom. Boom! She heard him cut it off, put it in. Shut up on that one. So then now she can't be at. She got to start checking herself on what she do because now she see. Okay, it's not okay to be out here giddy like a teeny bopper, like you don't know no better, running around here hunching on people's legs and kissing everybody in the mouth. But anyway, I like that Diane told Nikita, "Honey, y'all been over with for two years." Um, how long is long enough? It's time to stop dwelling in the past and holding on to stuff. And I feel like the only reason that Nikita is, uh, still holding on to that is because she still want that man. If she didn't want him, she'd have let go of it, moved on, and been trying to talk to another man by, by now. Because I'm not trying to hear, I can't find nobody I really like. She ain't trying to find nobody because she still hung up on that man. You see, he was calling her the first episode on the phone, keeping stuff going because she allowed him to. She need to get that man out of her mind and move on. And stop hanging on to it. But anyway, Gina's like, uh, I don't know. To me, it's like she got a cob up her butt. She trying to be too bougie at times for me. She be trying to be bougie and Mercedes be trying to be too bougie. But anyway, she need to chill out. Um, she talking about Diane <laughs> needs to dial it back some. She need to turn it up some. Gina expect people to cater to her. Like I said, the first episode, she said that she didn't want her celebrity from the U.S. to follow her over there. But see, her her mouth saying one thing, but her actions saying another. Because, see, she really wants people to treat her like they do here in the States. She wants people to approach her, come on to her, try to talk to her, do everything, you know, Catered to her like they do there. And I feel like she's having trouble with people not coming up to her, not knowing she's a celebrity, being in her face and catering her. I feel, you know, you do you understand that y'all get where I'm going? She She's saying it, but she don't mean it because now she's missing that attention. And I think it's some BS. You just gonna let them people know you're a celebrity so they can start fawning all over you like you want and then Gina will be happy. That's simple. And she'll go on and find somebody that she liked. Come on. I don't want them to like me for my celebrity. I want them to really like me. But she that ain't how she be active. Anyway. The ladies are a little childish for Gina Taste. Gina is just like the 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 house mom. It, I feel like we watching Charm School and she Monique. She she it's like these her children because they so childish and then she up in here with all these nasty people and she ain't used to live <laughs> living nasty. Um do y'all and then um how Mercedes gonna say she pray every day for some big breasts. Like my husband said, Mercedes uh wasn't praying for nothing then because she's just a selfish tale of prayer and she is who prays for big breasts every day. Then she going to try to pray for the group. Remember when your grandmother said, don't let everybody pray for you? Here's the prime example of why you don't let everybody pray for you because I don't need Mercedes to pray for me, honey. I do need prayer, but not from Mercedes. Some people, they claim they got all this connection with God, just like Kim was a uh, Claiming on the housewife, she had this big connection with God. Mercedes is another one. Y'all connection with God is not the kind of connection I try to have with, with God. Honey. Mm -mm. Not being selfish like that. Oh, no. Anyway. Then, Mercedes in this list is a bunch of rubbish. She gonna sit up here and say that she want a six foot tall church, rich church man. With a degree like her own, she too much for me. I don't know. She's stupid. I told y'all before the girl. She ain't stupid, but when it comes to relationship, 
why is she not that intelligent at all? That's where she's stupid at. She may be smart in the books. You know how people be smart in the books, but they don't have a lot of common sense? Look at uh, that Mercedes face. Her picture be out there beside it. Um. Then they had this little, the little, short, little, little gathering, whatever they call it in France. Where the sexy men at? I have yet to see any fine men. And I understand they ain't wrong for love, but why is all these men look like old married men? They look like old married men, uh, old men that sit at home on the dating site. Like, where y'all find these people at? Like, they not attractive. They intelligent people because she had lawyers and doctors and what have you, but they just... <sighs> You should never date a person on looks, but you need to, they need to be somewhat sexy. I mean, you know, I, and then uh, you got all of these young girls and the only one that's really of age is Gina, but a lot of these men look like they like 45 or 50 and these, everybody other than Gina is in their 20s to 25 or what, 38? You trying to she I I get it now y'all trying to find them a sugar daddy that's what you're doing because they that's exactly what you're doing but anyway pouring the key to sitting over there hiding behind a pillar in the corner oh bless it I was so happy when Diane went over there and pulled her up out the corner and carried her over there to the table but I wanted to see her with um. Somebody she actually liked, but then she finally said what she liked. I see why she not dating because she like them thug. She like them them thug, rough. She like them Rick Ross type of men. That's <laughs> that's what Nikita like. That's why she not attracted to nobody because they not no Rick Ross take charge type of man. She like uh remember when I told y'all last review. She like uh, a Tyler Perry movie. And I told y'all, she like, why did I get married? Y'all know the character Jill Scott played. And when she met old dude that worked at the, uh, that she married, that's how she like to be attracted to men. Like, mm, looking at his lips and his chest. That's what she's looking for. If they want her to talk and want to see her really get into it, find some men that look like that. And I can kid you not, I bet you we'll see a whole side of Nikita we ain't never seen before. Throw her some, the right meat at them. But anyway, Mercedes thought the ta tattoo artist was below her because he didn't have her education. Ain't no man going to be with this lady because she rude. You, I, there's a lot of people that, that own successful businesses that didn't go to college. They are financially stable. Like I said, uh, successful business on homes. Good people. And they didn't go to college. She had that, that, it was so rude to me. How she, as soon as he said he was a tattoo artist and anything about his education, how she blew him off. Honey, Miss Mercedes, if you're so close to God, then you would know God is not about to bless you with what you want because of how you treat people and, and your, what's in your mind. If you want what you're asking for, then you're going to have to be humble and, and take somebody because I'm gonna tell you, you can get a man that's of nothing, and he can he, he can become something. So as long as you blowing me and off wanting to start at the top, you just want the stuff handed to you. Guy, maybe he that's why you're not with nobody because guy trying to get you to understand you maybe you need to start with somebody like that tattoo artist that don't have no education that didn't go to school. Then that's the kind of man you're gonna end up with because what you're looking for, if you do find one, he ain't gonna never treat you right. You ain't gonna never be happy with him. But anyway, Ashley and Leo. Leo was actually nice looking. I have to say, Leo, up until Mercedes started dating the one dude, Leo was the nicest looking guy that I've seen on the show thus far. Um, They were cute. I'm glad that she liked him. They looked like they clicked and they got along well. And she kissed him. She talking about... 
worried about who Shay kissed. She kissed her date, even though, and then she kissed everybody on the street, though it was on the cheek, you still kiss him. So why are you always trying to talk about Shay and stay, say stuff about Shay, yet you doing the same thing with your attention need and having behind? But anyway, the guy with the man bun that Mercedes was talking to, she, he he was cute, but I knew out of the gate she was going to find something wrong with him so that I got to change my little notes that I took because I wrote in my notes she going to find something wrong with it, and she did. She going to say, you 22, wet behind the ears. Girl, you just 25. You wet behind your ears. We still need to come over there and change your diaper and take your pacifier from you because, honey, you, you definitely still got training wheels on. Huh. You still need a bill of yourself. I don't know how you taking shots to somebody else, girl. By you ain't as mature as you think you are. You really quite immature, naive, and dumb. Personally, I'm just gonna go on and tell you about it and just say it. Anyway, the guy Shay talking to, um, is way better than that first thing she was talking to. He nice looking. He's a chef. She's a chef. So she say she like she ain't never been in the kitchen before. She's so clumsy. But anyway, friend, friend. How you say Francesco? He doesn't believe in, in Jesus. But did he say he doesn't believe in God? I don't remember hearing him say he didn't believe in God, but he didn't believe in um he didn't believe in Jesus. But I know a lot of people who have married people that didn't believe in Jesus. And since they've been married, they slowly start back believing but it they didn't worship the devil or nothing like that they just didn't believe and they didn't believe because they didn't grow up in the church and they didn't have anybody around them that went to church or knew you know what i'm saying so this could be this person's situation you don't know but i they could while y'all together grow a relationship with god but like i said i know people that are married happily married the mate doesn't and he, they go to church Though they don't believe, they will go to church with the, the wife and the kids as a family. But, so, you can't say that, that it's not going to work because of that. But anyway, I'm moving on. Long as, uh, but hopefully he believes in God. Anyway, Ashley kissed the, uh, the cute guy. We talked about that. Shay and Roberto, we talked about them. Um, I like how they came and cooked dinner for everybody. And he was trying so hard to get a kiss. Shay ducked and dodged kissing the cute guy. He was the one she should have been kissing from day one. And I, in a way, I kind of wanted Shay to kiss him, but I'm glad she didn't because she do need to slow down and get herself under some kind of control. But when she carried her behind up in there in that room with Ashley and told Ashley her profile picture, she looked like she a stripper. And with them pubic hair out, I, I died laughing. <laughs> because <laughs> the picture she do be looking slutty Ashley always acting like she's so high and mighty and better than everybody else but then you posing like a cheap trick looking trashy and not classy girl bye she don't put she got she got upset with Shay but to keep her composure not acting a fool she just put Shay she told Shay bye and stop about to get out of the room <laughs> she just put Shay out of the room but anyway so Ashes and Mercedes goes out with little, little dude, little milk behind the ear dude that uh, Mercedes met, and he done messed up because he done carried them to the honey pot. Now they know where the black clubs are. Now the whole point of them going to Rome was to find love. They claim they couldn't find no black man, no good man in America, so they gonna go and get them a white man in Italy. But now they done found the honey pot. Mercedes been disrespectful. She got her little piece of booty grinding all up in somebody crotch, and dude. Just sitting there looking at her, he said, "Like he didn't look at her in the face. He looked at where the, her booty was just grinded up on the dude crotch, cause she was just like, huh, like a rabbit. Like they was basically having sex, like dry humping. Like they was just going. And it's like she wasn't even dancing to the beat. It's like Ashley was just trying to get off through their clothes, like they was playing I and go get it." <laughs> God. Oh my goodness. So anyway, they're a hot mess. I'm glad Gina went out on a date. That man was trying really, really hard to impress her. I think that man really, really liked Gina. I think he liked her a lot. 
but I think he was just trying too hard because he liked her so much. I feel like he just don't know how to date, like, because probably he hadn't dated in so long, and he really wanted to impress her, but she she got a cop, so for up her behind, she couldn't see none of that because I just wanted to tell somebody, tell her to go back to her husband because she ain't, she like Nikita, she ain't going, she ain't about to find nobody that she like because she stuck back 24 years to I'm just going to go on and say it, it is what it is y'all know how I do anyway keeping it moving so that's all my review for this show I'm trying to think if it's anything else that I I like the show it was good to me I can't wait to the next episode because each episode getting better and better. But anyway, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I thank you guys for watching, and I will see y'all in the next review.